This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're going to be reviewing, uh, we're going to be going through first impressions and review. Well, it's more of a review than first impressions because I've already tested it out, but not thoroughly to deliver an in-depth review. Does it even merit an in-depth review? Well, we're going to figure it out. Anyway, Christian Dior's from the Maison Dior Tabacolor, or Tabacolor, Tabacolor, Tabacolor. It's really hard to pronounce. I mean, it's tobacco color. I get the name, the, the word game, tobacolor, tobacco color. There's no, you know, it's not tobacco color. It's tabacola. Tobacco, tobacco. It's really hard in English to pronounce it, actually. Tobacular. That what, I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> I have a sample here. Um, I newly acquired um, from the Dior website the uh, Dior Homme original, which I can show you. This one. That's one. And I have reviewed it and compared it to the first formulation with the silver stem inside. So you could check out that review, card section up above, or in the link in the description box down below of Dior Homme original, which is the currently available original formulation of Dior Homme directly from Dior. So they've sent me two of these tabacular, tabacular. <laughs> Um, you know, if you were to really read it in English, you would, you would say like uh, two samples. So I got two times two mil sprayers, so it's four mil. Tobacolor. Tobacolo, I guess, in the French, the French pronunciation would be. Tabacolor. You want to try some Tabacolor? We're going to spray it right now. It is the newly launched, so 2020 release. Françoise de Machy is the nose behind this one. This is how the little vial looks like. Oh, let's... Wait, let's spray it here. Oh gosh, okay. This thing smells of Christmas. And it's sweet in a very pipey tobacco, honey type of tobacco way. Listen, they they list um, peach, oriental notes, plum, white tobacco, tobacco leaf, tobacco again, smoke, honey, citruses, and amber. Now, let this develop for a second while I tell you to, if you like my channel and content, subscribe. Push that subscription button today. Next to the join, or next to the subscription button, push the join button and become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dake of All Spelled Together, to also gain extra perks. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons and members who have already pledged. Thank you guys so much. This video is being filmed live in front of a virtual audience. So I got my co-chatters in the live section, in the live bar, sec chat section, right? Chat bar next to me who are going to co-review this perfume with me. So, if you like this video, thumb it up, you guys. Thumbing it up means that uh, YouTube's algorithm gets to know that we are legit in the bunker and we deserve to be pushed and promoted. So, thank you so much for thumbing up the video. Ding! Oh my god, this is so intense. It Listen, because they have tobacco and tobacco leaf, it sedimentates itself here. It, feels like tobacco. It's a smoky tobacco of a pipe in front of a fireplace in Christmas time in a cottage somewhere. And the honey and the, it's very smoky so it, it dries you out here but the honey makes it very sweet together with the plum. And when I first read about the ingredients and I thought oh you know what plum, mm, Dior and plum, I immediately think poison. To me, Christian Dior, Plum, Apoponax, and Tuberose. That's kind of poison, that, that's Dior. The plum in here is not the poison type of plum. This one is too smoky to even detect the plum, but... No, actually, I take that back. I detect the plum, but it's a plum. It's like a candied plum or like a compote plum. And it dries you out it water it makes you water but at the same time dries you out so it's a very interesting concoction it's nothing new it's nothing groundbreaking it's nothing special it's a warm safe 
type of fragrance um, that gives you that cozy feeling, you know, it, it gives you a cozy, comfortable feeling. It makes you want to sit in front of the fireplace with a blanket on your knees and drink a warm cocoa with a bit of marshmallows in it, in it while a couple of... Um, gingerbread men and candy canes are hanging on top of the fireplace somewhere to adorn this kind of landscape dark woods this cod this house is made out of dark woods and outside it's snowing you're on the ground floor everything is in wood you know envision a kind of a twin peaks scenario everything is wood built and then you got all the snow outside and everything is so crisp and clean and the crystal air outside and you're cozy underneath your blanket indoors listening to the fire crackling to the wood kind of crackling in the fireplace but there's silence you're not watching a tel you're not watching television you're not on internet you're not on your smart nothing you're just holding that cup of cocoa in your hand looking into the fire and just enjoying the moment that's literally what toba color is you know it's as it's as simple as that does it have to be more complicated than that? Actually, no. It's actually some simple things in life like this are really beautiful and they're worth being simple. They're worth the the simple time, the simple moment for what they are because you you enjoy it for what it is. You enjoy the simple time. You enjoy the simple moment. You enjoy the huge sweater that is like so heavy and it just keeps kind of falling off you. You enjoy everything and... um this perfume is just joyful in that respect. It's a warm, comforting, soothing smell. There is a twist, though. As this one dries down, in the last, last, last dry down, it's not good. And this is a problem I'm having with it. Uh, every time I test it out, I don't know why. Is it the citruses or the spiciness or the peach, the oriental notes? I, white tobacco, tobacco leaf tobacco. There's so much tobacco in here, but when it dries down, that last, last, last dry down isn't a sophisticated, rich smell. That last dry down smells so synthetic to me and cheap. It doesn't work, but we're talking about the end end. There's something very, mm, I want to say, I don't know what perfume, no, I know what, per I know what type of smell it, it reminds me of, but I don't know which perfume comes to mind first, like to compare it with so that I could let you know. It's a burning tobacco. It's so delicious in the opening and in the mid notes. As I said, nothing groundbreaking, but it's a smoky, dry tobacco drenched in honey and plum. It's good. It does warrant a full bottle, but... It doesn't warrant the dry down. The dry down gives it something. Mm, like those, you know, male niche perfumes. And this one is unisex, by the way. But, you know, you think, oh, tobacco, 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 leaf, blah, blah, blah. You think, oh, it's for men. Because only men smoke. It's ridiculous. It's again, it's the way we're wired. We're wired wrong. Um, one of those perfumes targeted to men that are really bland, but have that kind of synthetic dry down due to the ambroxan or something. Mm, which perfume would I say has a similar dry down that's really kind of annoys me? Mm. Like, maybe it could be Yves Saint Laurent's L'Homme. L'Homme might have that in the dry down. Or La Nuit de L'Homme. La Nuit de L'Homme is maybe a little bit less of that metallic -y something in the dry down that just is wrong. It's like this one. Once the smoke dissipates, basically, and the tobacco leaf are also light, all of these light things are gone. There's nothing left, you know? There's nothing at the bottom to substantiate. The full bodiness, the, the body, the heft of this fragrance. And once these interesting smells are gone, something remains, almost like the chemical that kept them together at the beginning, is left. All the good stuff evaporates because it's very kind of heady and bloomy and smoky type of ingredients. And once they're gone, all you're left with is some compound that kept the stuff together at the beginning. And I don't like that. And so that needs to be addressed somehow. But I don't know how to address it. I mean, 
it does state that this has amber in the dry down. It's a little bit like when you're wearing... It's like the dry down of, of Yves Saint Laurent's tuxedo. That's also not a good dry down on me, at least. But while it's smoke in its smoky bloominess of the tobacco leaf, we got to smoke, tobacco, tobacco leaf, and white tobacco, and plum. In the beginning, when it's there, when all of that is there, it's really delicious, albeit not being groundbreaking and new. And in that phase, you feel really good with this one on. Like, you really enjoy it. And yeah, the amber is sizzling at the bottom. It's a smoking tobacco pipe. It's really good. Really good. I mean, what can I tell you? It's a safe buy. You buy it and you're going to smell deliciously warm. Three to four hours. And then you're going to hit that dry down where you're going to be like, spray something else over it and you're good to go. Like, that's also fine. Now, four to five hours. Is it worth it then? The newly marked up Christian Dior, uh, Dior Maison Dior prices, is it worth the markup? The newly added markup for a full bottle of this? You be the judge of that. I mean, luckily enough, at least when they launch a new perfume like they did with Tuba Color, uh, they also launch it as a 40 ml bottle. So you don't have to buy into the 125 ml, the 250 ml, the 450 ml bottles. You could go for the 40 ml bottle. Still, it's around 100 bucks. It's still expensive for 40 ml. But, you, you know, if you want to commit to a full bottle, but you want the smallest one available, they do sell Tuba Color right now on their website for 40 at, at 40 ml. Uh, all the other fragrances not at the moment. They've discontinued the 40 mil online for all the others, but they, they're they selling the 40 mil of Tuba Color just to kind of offer people an opportunity to get to know this fragrance. So I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced if I'm going to really purchase a full bottle of this. And, you know, they've just increased their prices now. So usually the, the downside of these brands increasing their prices is like when they've just increased the prices and you haven't bought something just like literally a week before the price increase. This is how I function, at least. And this is bad for those companies. I think to myself, oh, they've just increased the price. So I'm not going to. I'm in no hurry. They're going to increase them again in a year or two. So I got time. On the other hand, if they kept the prices the same, but were, would be hinting only that they would increase the price, I would rush to buy more just to keep buying before the price increase comes. So psychologically, once they've just increased their prices, like I'm, you're, I'm gone as a customer for at least a year or two. <laughs> so that kind of like turns me off from buying a full bottle as well. But um, I do like it though. When, once it hits the dry down and that thing kicks in that I don't like, I, literally, I just spray something else on top of it and the perfume is gone. You know, you just cover it up with something else or you respray it or you refresh tobacco color uh, all over again. And it does take me to that cottage. It does take me to that crackling fireplace, warm hues, dark woods, smoky, intense smell, but warm, never aggressive, never manly, never overpowering, never testosterone driven. A cuddle warm embrace. It's like even if you're a woman or if you're a man, because men also need to find the man within. Women can find the man within, no pun intended. You 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 feel yourself, you feel a more embracing, warming, cradling, safe feeling vibe from within. This one delivers that to me. It, it does it does make me feel like everything is going to be okay. And you know what? I really need that these days. I really need something like this that makes me feel like everything is going to be okay. It's a fuzzy feeling, even though there's that fire there. And I mean, if you fall asleep to a crackling fire, you might get burned, but you never know. But sure, there's a little bit of that tension there as well. It's not completely safe, but you feel safe with your cocoa and the marshmallows in the cocoa and you're holding it with your hand. So you're warming up your hand as well because the cup is warm or the mug is warm. And it, there's that whole mm, snuggly vibe going on about Tuba Color. It's, it's just that good without being groundbreaking. But as I said before, it doesn't have to be groundbreaking. It just has to have the good quality. And it does, minus the dry down. By dry down, I don't mean the entire dry down is bad. I mean like the final, final end. The bottom line of the dry down doesn't do it for me. 
but the initial phases of the dry down do 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 it for me. I might get a bottle. <laughs> I might end up getting a bottle. I have to admit, this one is, it's it's alluring me enough. It's smoky enough to give me those mm, real tobacco in the pipe type of vibes. And without having to smoke, without having to ruin your lungs, you can actually smell it in a warm and slightly sweetened by honey version of, of smoking without having to smoke. So it's it's really interesting. I guess it could be deadly for the people who are smokers and who are trying to stop smoking and then you start smelling this. It might get get you back onto the flavor of wanting to smoke a cigarette on top of this. So be careful if you're a smoker and you're trying to stop smoking. This one might not really work for you, but for those of us who are not smokers, this one kind of fills me up in a good way. It lasts not long enough though. So you be the judge. What do you think? I mean... That's my feeling. I'm still in that cottage, cuddling up in my blanket with a hot cocoa. Does that, has anybody else tried Tobacolo? Let me know. Amina says, it sounds like a disease, Tobacolor, LOL, like tuberculosis. Tuba oh my God, Debbie says tuberculosis. Que calor, says Amina. I know it's very, very warm. It is allegedly supposed to mimic the smell of... Um, Nargula smoke? Sounds like them niche perfumes, Mr. Philip Fabulous. Yes, them is them niche perfumes. Kira says, sounds like um oh Marta Margilla replica by the fireplace. Mm, it's a bit different-ish. Mm, different. Jam says to Kira that uh Jam agrees. Uh Mira says, it's the Christmas spirit for me. First spice blend. And it's stale Christmas cookie smell. And now this tobacco color Christmas moment, LMAO, Dior has turned into a joke. Uh, but I'm liking the joke. I'm I'm in on it. I'm in on the joke. Burning tobacco, says Mr. Philip Fabulous. Jam says, if the dry down is not nice, you don't enjoy the perfume is not good, just in my opinion. I'm all about the dry down. I know, me too. But this this opening is so good, though. Dry down is the soul of perfume. Not at the cost it's not, <laughs> says Debbie. Amina says, um, when the warm top and middle notes disappear, you are left with the ashes. Ooh, that's a good one, Amina. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like that. Sacred and Sasha Vlog says, oh, wow, this is live. Yes, it is. Welcome to the live, sweetie. Jack says, yes. It's vlogs every Saturday. We are live every Saturday. And by the way, Sacred and Sasha vlogs, thumb up this video. Thumb up the live stream. Um, oh, the Nargila. Oh, the Shisha Hookah, I mean to say. Yes. Um. No. Mm, doesn't give that vibe to me, really. Not really. But I would say... Yeah, I understand, Emilio, when you say, like, oh, it smells kind of like a joke. Uh... Like Dior is turning into a joke. I'm loving this easy, easy giving, good quality for what it is, but easy giving vibes. I like the safety feeling in it or the safety net of it all. Sometimes they put fruity flavors to the smoke. Amina says, yeah, it's fruity. In fact, I mean, we got plum and peach. We got two fruits in there. It has plum and peach listed in the ingredients, and it has citruses. But the citruses here, they're just used to create a shadow base for the tobacco. The citrus just plumps up the tobacco, lifts it a little bit from the ground more, you know, and adds that zestiness underneath it. Acidity is very low on this one, but it's there because of the citrus. Well, tobacco is also quite acidic, but... I might be getting a bottle. I'm, I'm going to be... I got four mil to keep testing and playing with. If I if I get annoyed by it after a week, I'm going to be like, okay. But if I keep craving it, just saying. Um, just saying. So, um, also to let you guys know, um, always check... Oh, Letty. Letty says, my notification didn't tell me you were live. At least I'm here. Letty, you have to always check my Instagram profile on Super Deco Ball Spelled Together. There I announce everything. And also my community tab on YouTube. On the community tab on YouTube, everything is scheduled. 
you get to see the scheduled live stream. Just check in there, and once it's once you see it, you can set a reminder for yourself. But better later than never. That is so true. So, guys, thank you so much for co-reviewing this perfume with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, thumb up this video and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Uh, you can also push the join button next to the subscription button and become a member today and gain access to extra perks in the fashion bunker. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Deck of All Spelled Together, and gain extra perks there as well, like exclusive videos that you can see only there, but that don't come to the public profile on YouTube. Or also exclusive perks like being listed here in the scrolling credits, the rolling scrolling credits at the end of every video as my official co-producers of the Fashion Bunker. Thank you guys so much. Just like in every good movie, at the end of the movie, we got the gorgeous title scrolling ever so delicately and gently to thank all the supporters and lovers of the Fashion Bunker. Thank you guys so much. And thank you to all the ones who have already pledged, obviously members and patrons and super chatters. And thank you also to all my co-chatters who, co who have co-reviewed and co-chatted live with me uh, today during this uh, review of Tabacolor. 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 <laughs> it's tabacular. Spectacular. Um, they should not cost as much as they cost. You know, niche always, it's the excuse for making things cost more. I think for these big brands like Dior that makes their niche cost more, it's because they, they invest almost zero money in promoting this stuff. They don't um, invest billions in launching a new perfume every year they save all that money uh so they maybe sell less perfume because not many people know about the, these their niche versions of perfumes so they make up for it in a way by demanding more money from the consumer sure they're telling you that the quality of the ingredients that they're using is higher than in their mass released fragrances and i can smell that out i i smell out ingredients that would not be utilized in the way that they are utilized in niche that they would be utilized also in the mass release fragrances of theirs i i feel that i see that i understand that but still the price is really high and i think it's also because the branding the advertisement is missing so you know to, to cover up their losses by not selling product because it's been over advertised if you don't advertise the product not many people are going to know about it so less people are going to buy it so you kind of counter the fact that less people are going to buy by upping the price. So we suckers, perfume lovers, end up paying for one bottle perfume, you know, like they're milking us like it's as if we bought five perfumes of the regular range. So like one person is spending money for five people. And that's how they cover their costs for losing <laughs> potential customers because they spent zero money in advertising. So everything kind of comes full circle. Everything has its reason of being the way it is, you guys. Plus, let's not forget one important thing. The perfume industry, perfumes, you don't, I mean, unless you're not producing your own stuff in your own factories, your own facilities, you're selling your own, so you're not distributing your own, you're distributing your own things, which Dior is doing. But if you're not doing that and you have somebody to distribute you and to sell you, you're, they take, they all take cuts and profits. You don't earn much by selling perfumes unless you don't do everything yourself. And almost nobody can afford to do everything themselves. Just bear that in mind next time you're buying something smelly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Never forget to never give up on love. Until next time, love ya, bye. Mwah.